Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Texo. Today I'm answering some of your questions. One common question is, what is public scraper credit and how do you use it? Let's dive into the details. What is public scraper credit? Public scraper credit allows you to use a scraper profile that is available publicly, enabling you to scrape an account without using your own cookie. This is particularly useful for certain LinkedIn automations. Public scraper credits are cheaper compared to our data enrichment credits, since this just scrapes data from public search results. The major benefit is that it does not require your account cookie. Since many profiles are public, we use the publicly open profile available on Google and other searches to collect the information. How to use public scraper credit? Here is how you can utilize public scraper credit in Texo. First, check your public scraper credit. You can see your public scraper credit in your limits dashboard over here. As you can see, I have 47 credits remaining out of 50. This number can be up to 50,000 credits depending on your plan. Automations that use public scraper credit. Currently, the automations that require public scraper credit are LinkedIn Public Profile Scraper and LinkedIn Public Company Scraper. Let's head over to the automation store and see them in action. LinkedIn Public Profile Scraper. With these two LinkedIn automations, we don't need to connect the LinkedIn account, but rather scrape the publicly available information from the profiles. This automation takes one credit for one input. The information collected depends on the individual settings of each profile. This automation gathers a wealth of profile information. Let's go ahead and try it out. First, I will select the automation, select single input, and here what we need to do is enter the public profile URL. In my case, I will use this account. Go ahead and hit run. Now, while the automation is running, we can have a look at what information we can get from this automation and this scraper. So what we would expect in the output would be first name, last name, the full name of the person, um, you know, their connections count, the followers count, their email and phone number if they're publicly available, as well as all the information about the company where they work. Um, their ex past experience, uh, education experience, etc. Now the automation has completed. Let's go ahead and see the results. Okay, we have quite a bit of information here that we have collected. As you can see, some of the information might not be there. That would be depending on the profile settings of the user. So if that information is not available, then the user has not made this information public. We can see their location. We can see the dates of their past tenure, their experience, the addresses, links to the company profile, etc. So all of that information is scraped with the LinkedIn public profile scraper. Now let's go ahead and see how the LinkedIn public company scraper works. That's the other automation that you can use with these credits. Let's go ahead and try it out. This automation also takes one credit for each single input. Again, as I mentioned previously, we don't need to connect any LinkedIn account to run this automation. The publicly available information on LinkedIn about the company will be scraped in our output. Let's input, uh, let's do a single input. Input a company page URL. I would select this one, Red Sea Global. and run the automation. While it's running, we can have a look at what information we can expect to get. 
So as you can see, we can expect to see company name, website, description, headline, year founded, industry, headcount, followers, logo, banner, and many more in the output. Now that the automation is complete, let's go ahead and see the results. So as you can see, we can see the company name, website, the public URL. We can see their description, what industry they're in, headcount, followers count, all of the links to the company banner, etc. We can see the full address. All of that information would be available with the public scraper. When it comes to credit deduction, when the automation runs, it will use the public scraper profile and deduct credits from your public scraper balance. You can track that in your limits dashboard over here. As you can see, in the beginning, I had 47 credits. Now I have 45 because I have used two credits. And that's it. Public Scraper Credit in Texo allows you to scrape LinkedIn profiles and companies without using your own cookie. Make sure to check out your available credits and choose the right automation for your needs. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.